That's right, girl. Yeah, we we need, we as a crowd need to put some respect on Hollywood Haley James' name. And she's letting everybody know that. I mean, look at that. You, we, we talked about the swagger. I love the confidence. We'll see if that confidence translates into how she performs in the ring here tonight. I've seen a little bit of tape study here on Haley James. But like I said, this is the first time that OVW title has been defended outside of Ohio. First time we're seeing her here in Texas. And Jasmine Delore with a quick roll up. Already with the roll up. Going on the attack early is Jasmine Allure. Did the bell ring? Yeah, I'm here to wrestle. Jasmine may have jumped the gun on that. Already with the lockup. Jasmine showing some power here. Jasmine Allure, of course making a name for herself, showing up on AEW Dark, competing on AEW Dynamite. There's a reason why she's getting this title opportunity here tonight, and she's here to show out. For sure. I'm liking what I'm seeing early on in the match. I'm liking the aggression. I'm liking the fact she's trying to take oh, control. Take down. There we go, getting the vertical base away from Hollywood, taking her right down to the mat. Roll over count. Only able to get a two count there. And Hollywood objecting to the wrestling acumen of Jasmine Lear. There you go with that wrist lock. Wrist control. Not a whole lot of wrist control oh. as Jasmine works her way out of it and moves into a submission. Oh, no. Wrenching on the back of Hollywood Haley James. Well, Hollywood should have been watching her on AEW Dark. You would think so. You would think that with the amount of tape out there on Jasmine Allure, Hollywood would have done her research, but I think that that swagger translated into some arrogance, and she walked into here not knowing exactly what to, uh, what to deal with when she stepped between the ropes. Now Jasmine maintaining that wrist control. A little snap mare into a headlock. Jasmine Allure clearly in control here. Trying to slow the pace of the match, keep uh, keep Hollywood off of her feet. Smart, smart strategy from top tier Jasmine Allure. All right, with the top wrist lock, Hollywood. Haley J's got some wrestling chops. She's, I mean, she may be from the streets, but that doesn't mean that everything that she does is going to translate into a street fight. This is somebody who can wrestle, as we are seeing right here. Two Jasmine count. needs to watch out those shoulders. Arm drag takes Haley J off. A little frustrated there. And there we there we go. I said that Haley J is from the streets and she will turn things into a street fight. Not 100 percent of the time, oh, arm drag. but she's willing to go there. Another arm drag. Yeah, Jasmine is not letting Haley J stay on her feet for long, which is a smart strategy. Because eventually she's got to get that pin or submission to get out of this match. Ooh, what a strike. Yeah, Haley J is not the biggest performer I've ever seen, but she can lay him in. She's got some striking acumen. Jasmine flying crossbody, one, only a one count that high risk maneuver. There you go, regroup. Regroup yourself, Haley. Champion rolling to the outside, taking a breather. I need a minute. But remember, Haley can do this all that she wants. She's the champion. She can get counted Haley has out. the champion's advantage. She gets counted out, she keeps her title. Exactly. I don't She's smart. Regroup yourself, honey. There you go. She's young, she's smart, she has ring acumen. There's a reason why she's carrying that title here into Rise of the Vixens too. And now you see Jasmine giving chase, rolling into the ring. Oh, she missed the elbow. Haley thought that she had Jasmine right there with that elbow drop. But Jasmine counters with a drop kick of her own, sends Haley right into the corner. Smart move, smart. Take down into the corner. And now Haley J working the head. 
Gonna have to have the ringside medics do a concussion protocol at some point here. Cover, one, two. Only a two count for the champion there. Gotta keep focused, Haley. Okay. Excuse me, is this on? I don't think it is. She just took off her eyelash. Yeah, I think she uh, I think she lost I think she lost her lashes there. And that may upset her more than anything, short of losing the title. Double knee stomp to the back of Jasmine Allure's neck. That'll give you a whiplash like nobody's business. Goes for the cover. One, two, only a two count. Oh, muscle three, it looks like to me. The toughness of Jasmine Allure showing through here. Yes, yeah, stay on her, Haley. Oh, the, champ, you stay on her. the champ has Jasmine on the ropes, literally. Which is not where Jasmine wants to be, but it's exactly where Haley wants her to be. She already declared the win. I love it. There's a cover. Just a one. Stop to the foot. Dirty tactics. As I said, the streets. And there are the dirty tactics that we expected out of the champion. I don't think that she can go very long without taking things in a direction that maybe they don't need to be taken. I but feel you, like Haley J is much more talented than these tactics would lead on. Hey, but you do what you gotta do to keep your title. You know what I mean, Jacob? Yeah, we'll, we'll see how well it plays out. Oh. She leaves herself vulnerable to attacks like that whenever she showboats and tries to let that swagger shine through. Haley J is one of those performers who wants to go out and perform. She wants to show off. She wants to show that she is the best. She wants to show that she's a champion. She wants to be a showboat. Goes for a cover here. One, two, near fall. As I was saying, Haley J wants to show off, wants to, I don't necessarily say earn the respect of the crowd, but wants to show that maybe she thinks she's better than everybody. And Close. And always leaves herself susceptible, susceptible oh, to maneuvers like that. To the face. Go pin me off quick. Huh? That must have knocked some teeth out. For Jasmine's sake, I hope not. I'm not sure if she has top tier dentistry. And Jasmine really does not want to turn this into a fight. This is a wrestling match up to this point. Despite what Haley J is trying to pull, Jasmine has been successful in keeping this as a wrestling match, but it's getting far more physical and intense. As you can see right there, taking Jasmine down by the hair. And now the champion trying to stomp a hole through the midsection the of Jasmine. Cover. Only a two count from Haley J. There she goes, slowing it down. Take your time. Take a little breather, Haley. Regroup. Haley wants to regroup, but the crowd really wants Jasmine Moore to make a comeback. And there, with a sit-out jawbreaker, and now taking Haley J to the mat with a series of vicious clotheslines and clubbing strikes. Oh. Swinging neckbreaker and a cover. That is as close as it gets without the hand coming down for three. Very close. And Jasmine, either fired up or frustrated, we'll see. Laying in. The there two competitors go. exchanging hard elbows. You said this is the first match uh, with this title being defended outside, right? Correct. It might be the first time it changes hands, too. That is a very good point. We could see a title change here very quickly, or we could see a no contest if neither of these women are able to make it to their feet and answer the referee's 10 count. I know we want a winner. We want a clear winner. I want a definitive winner one way or the other. Yes. Haley back on her feet. She says she's done, but she's not. Jasmine hasn't been pinned yet. Haley oh. taking the belt. What, is, what does she think she's doing? That's how you keep a title. That's how you Haley. keep a championship. Haley going. 
Jasmine picking up the win via disqualification, but Haley J gets to walk out with that OVW title, which I think to Haley, I think to Haley, she's much more, she's much more content to walk out with the title than a victory.